Welcome to AppyChip. Today we are going to learn about a cool tool that is Terraform and we will use it to launch VPC, subnets, EC2 instance and uh, other AWS related resources. So before going forward, I assume that you already have uh, uh, knowledge of Terraform and uh, uh, basic knowledge of AWS. So if you don't know the basics of Terraform, then you can go ahead and uh, watch our tutorial on installing and setting up Terraform and launching an EC2 instance with it. So let's go ahead and see what we are going to do with Terraform today. So you can refer the blog post which we have written and uh, here you can find all the code snippets and the commands we are going to run. Our end goal is to create VPC, public private subnet, internet gateway, route table, security groups, key pairs and EC2 instances using Terraform. So we will be creating two instances for a web server and for a database server. The prerequisites you should know or you should have is you should have a AWS account and basic understanding of AWS related terminology like route table, subnets, VPC, etc. Then you should have access key and secret key of your IAM user and these uh, your user should have minimum permission to create all these resources. So uh, you should choose the secret key and access key of a particular user which have access to all these kinds of resources and uh, uh, you should have uh, you should have credential file of AWS in this file. So this is where you are going to put uh, your secret key access key. By default Terraform will pick up the credential from these files. The next thing would be we will require a public key out of a private key through which we will be able to SSH to our uh, instances that we will create. So uh, you can create that using ssh-keygen and by providing your private key file. So the, uh, my private key file name is mumbai.pam which is available here and uh, I have already created a public key using that command. So this is the public key I have created. Now you can see the content of the public key here it is so uh, we'll be using this public key in the terraform script let's go ahead so the terraform files uh, extension is .tf so first we are going to create a global variable file uh, that is variables.tf in this uh, we are going to say that the region we are going to use is app southeast one so uh, this is a variable AWS region and the default value is app southeast one. Similarly, we are going to specify the CIDR for VPC and we are going to say this is going to be our VPC. And then the public uh, subnet CIDR should be this and similarly for private subnet CIDR should be this. The AMI we are going to say is uh, this AMI ID uh, you can choose any sort of AMI from your uh, AWS marketplace then the uh, public key which we have generated uh, you need to provide that here so either you can give the name of the public key or maybe you can uh, specify the public key itself then we have a file provider.tf so Terraform provides uh, many cloud provider and on-premises cloud so that uh, you can create uh, your infrastructure on any cloud. So you need to specify the cloud provider here. So we are going to say that the provider is AWS. So it could be Google Cloud Platform as well. So let's go ahead. Uh, so this is our uh, provider.tf and then we are creating uh, VPC subnet internet gateway and other stuff using the file vpc.tf so this file have uh, all the resources that we are going to create so first we are defining our vpc that uh, uh, the cidr block should be this which we are picking up from the uh, variable.tf file and we are enabling dns hostname true 
and uh, the name of this VPC is going to be test VPC. Then we are going to define public subnet. So uh, here uh, we have we are specifying the CIDR from our uh, variable file, and uh, we are specifying availability zone, and we are uh, giving the tag name web public subnet. Similarly for private subnet. Uh, which we are going to use for database instance then we are going to define internet gateway and then route table and uh, in the route we are specifying the CIDR block and gateway ID and then we are giving it the name public subnet RD now we are going to assign the route table to the public subnet so that our uh, public instance can communicate with internet uh, through that gateway then we are going to define the security group for public subnet so we are saying that um, uh, traffic on port 80 is allowed from anywhere and we are specifying ingress on https as well and then uh, uh, other sort of stuff like uh, allowing ssh on port 22 then we are saying that we are specifying egress that means uh, and we are giving it to anywhere so that our instance should be able to access internet then we are specifying the VPC ID and uh, we are giving it the tab then we are uh, specifying security group for private subnet uh, here are the ingress and the tags so this uh, uh, this contains all your resources then we are creating a key pair in resource.tf here we are specifying that the uh, private key that it is going to use is mumbai.pam so uh, it get it will get associated with the instances and you will be able to SSH to it now we are defining web server inside the public subnet um, we are telling the AMI should be this instance type is t1micro key name is this subnet VPC and other sort of stuff uh, one more thing here to note is we are providing user data so uh, we already have a tutorial on user data so you can watch that and uh, you can uh, understand what user data is so uh, in brief uh, user data is the is a script or the set of commands that you can run while launching an instance so if you are creating a fresh instance those sets of command will be run uh, while booting the server so we are reading it from user data dot sh I'll show you this so here is our user data dot sh and we are saying that uh, first we are enabling the debugging so that uh, every command output should be there in the logs and uh, we are saying that all logs uh, all the output of the script should go to where logs user data dot log file then we are installing httpd and we are starting httpd and uh, we are uh, putting certain html content in the index uh, default index file then we are creating the database instance and we are we are providing all the necessary things like ami instance type key name etc and this is the user data so uh, we have uh, uh, we already have gone through all the scripts that we need and here are the scripts you can uh, copy that down from our blog so let us go and uh, run it so initially you need to run terraform init command but uh, I have already initialized it and, terra and we are going to run terraform plan so terraform what terraform plan command do is it will uh, give you the output what all resources it is going to create so here it has given me some certain output let's go through it so uh, it is going to create all these resources uh, aws instance.dv with ami this and so on and uh, one more instance then internet gateway then key pair and uh, what all resources we have specified so it is going to create all these things uh, let's check if we have any instances or anything uh, already created so as of now we don't have any instances and we are in Singapore region that is app southeast one 
Here we already have mumbai.pam file and uh, as you can see there are no subnets that we were creating. So and let's see if VPC is there. So okay, uh, our required VPC is not there. So Terraform plan will give you the output what all resources it is going to create. To actually create it, you need to run Terraform apply. It might take some time. Okay, it has started giving some output. So uh, it is using the key pair and uh, it is creating security groups and uh, security group creation complete then route table associating with public web public rd now it is creating the instance so oops okay let's go ahead and see if vpc has been created or not okay so test vpc has come up this is what we have created this is the internet gateway we have created let's go ahead and see if instances have come up or not okay the instance has come up this is the web server and this is the database server so it is getting launched status checks are still initializing okay the script has completed so it has created all the resources let's wait for this instance to come up so this is our web server and this do have a public IP and we can uh, try to SSH into this instance as well So to SSH you need to specify the private key file, the user and the IP. Okay, we are inside this. Now let's see, uh, we have we provided user data. So logs must have been created in where log user data dot log. Okay. So what all the things it has done is uh, it has it must have installed httpd the installation is complete then it has started uh, so starting httpd is okay and it has uh, uh, it has uh, put this html content inside your index default index file let's see if it is accessible or not okay so hello from aperture uh, it has done all the required stuff now uh, one more thing you need to understand is if you change any resource it the terraform is going to terminate that resource and recreate it so for example if we change user data so if we change user data and uh, hello from aperture and let's write keep learning and keep sharing let's save this and run terraform plan to see what it is going to oops we are inside the instance let's run terraform plan and let's see how what it is going to do as of now the instance are still running So everything remains as it is but uh, this user data is new which forces new resources so it is going to terminate the instance of web server and recreate it with the new user data so as of now we have this IP 71119 and this instance is going to get terminated as soon as we run terraform apply let's try this out So it is not going to change any other stuff apart from this particular instance as the change lies in this resource only.
okay now it is destroying the instance of web server let's see okay it is shutting down it is still destroying So the termination of this instance is taking a bit of time. Okay, so it is taking a bit of time. Uh, uh, let's let it run and we'll check the output later. Uh, so as I was saying that you can go through uh, the basic stuff tutorial that we have on our uh, channel and uh, please do subscribe to keep us motivated and also share the stuff to help others. Uh, you can also go through how to use user data in AWS. So we have a blog post on the same in which uh, you can understand uh, how user data works and you can uh, actually try this out this is really a cool thing and helps in automation let's go ahead and see the script has completed okay the instance has terminated a new instance must have come up okay the new instance is here this is the new IP. Let's try and SSH into this. Okay, since the instance is still creating, uh, it is not able to connect to it. Okay, now we are able to SSH. Let's see the logs. Okay, so our changes has applied. Hello from Apicheap. Keep learning and keep sharing. Let's try to access the IP. Okay, here's the change. So, this is all about creating necessary stuff in AWS. So you can go through the documentation and you can create more resources other than what we have seen in this tutorial. So this is all for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, any suggestion, please do comment, like, subscribe to keep us motivated. Keep learning, keep sharing. Thanks for watching.